Hi to all. In instrumentation, what are the important questions chapter wise? Before going to examination, see these questions. Are you able to answer these questions or not? These are the important questions chapter wise or unit wise. Coming to unit 1, characteristics of signals and their characteristics. First one is define instrumentation. Describe instrumentation or define instrumentation. What is instrumentation? Basic question it is. Next, what are the various characteristics, static characteristics? That is define accuracy, precision, drift, dead zone, resolution. All these are comes under static characteristics. Explain static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. Both are very important. The characteristics which exist in the static and dynamic dynamic uh, static and characteristics both are very important and remaining some numerical problem based on resolution and ideal in detail about various types of errors in instrument what are the various types of errors coming to in unit 1 characteristics of signals and their representation explain in detail what are the various types of errors in occur in instrument the various types of error these are also important Explain pulse modulation and pulse code modulation. Pulse modulation and pulse code modulation. What is modulation? Define modulation. What are the various modulation techniques? Explain digital modulation techniques with relevant diagrams. This is a part, uh, another part of unit 1 that is modulation. What is modulation? Define modulation or classify various types of modulation techniques that is important. And pulse code modulation, pulse modulation, it is also important. That is pulse code modulation and delta modulation, two types of digital modulation techniques. Explain the digital modulation technique with the relevant diagrams in the sense it is digital modulation techniques are what are the digital modulation techniques, delta modulation and pulse code modulation. These are digital modulation techniques. These are the important questions related to unit 1. Definitely from these questions you will get maybe chance of questions uh, in examination. Coming to unit 2, data telemetry and DOS. Define telemetry or draw the telemetry system. That is the, it is the basic question that may ask what is telemetry, what define or basic telemetry system consists of what are the various parts. Explain PCM telemetry system. It is also very important. Digital modulation technique. It is pulse code modulation technique. PCM telemetry system. It is also very important. PCM telemetry system. Already PCM modulation technique we are using. Same principle we can use. And simple thing is frequency modulation and amplitude modulation. Those are basic things about modulation. Already in earlier classes, uh, in previous classes also you studied amplitude and frequency modulation. PCM telemetry system is very important. Compare FM, PAM, PAM and PCM. Frequency modulation, pulse modulation, pulse amplitude modulation, PCM modulation. Different modulation techniques compare comparison is very very important if you know this the comparison you can able to answer all the questions which are coming in unit 2 what are the various types of modulation multiplexing system time division and frequency division two methods are there these are all important questions in unit 2 remaining all Define DOS, explain components of analog DOS like that uh, DOS data acquisition system, basic system, components of digital DOS, it is very important. These are the important topics in unit 2. Are you prepared this or not? You can check once again by seeing these questions. Coming to unit 3, signal analyzers and digital meters. What is signal analyzer? What is wave analyzer? The basic thing, everyone should know this. Coming to important topics of uh, this one is signal analyzer. Either they will ask uh, what is a heterodyne wave analyzer or 
heterodyne or frequency selective any one will come it is also important what is the difference between analyzer versus spectrum analyzer that is a common thing coming to unit 3 signal analyzers and digital meters again some important questions sir next basically what is a digital meter basically what is a digital meter how it works that is very important elucidate the principle of digital meter elaborate the working of ramp type dvm explain ramp type dvm with the neat sketch different types of dvms anyone will come but ramp type especially most of the voltmeters are using ramp type digital voltmeter technique hence it is very important the next one is a simple question that is a resolution and digital meters the resolution what is the what is meant by resolution how the resolution helps the digital meters the smallest increment that can be able to detect the meter is known as resolution suppose oka digital meter und ankonde digital meter lo enta chinna value measure cheyagalam danni resolution antaru danni 1 by 10 power n tho chupistharu 1 by 10 power n indicates resolution formula to calculate number of digits used is n that is also important resolution in digital meters and i told you there are ramp type and integrating type any one will come the ramp type and integrating type any one will come either ramp type or integrating type either ramp type or integrating type either ramp type or integrating type any one will come explain integrating type digital voltmeter or ramp type digital voltmeter it is important that support uh, unit 3 coming to unit 4 transducers coming to unit 4 transducers what are the important topics and questions transducers basically i am every time i will mention what is transducer if you know entire chapter you can understand define electrical transducer that is also important and mention advantages that is also important explain the principle on the operation of resistive inductive capacitive transducers it is total entire chapter actually but a strain gauge and its principle principle of operation it is also important it is very very important if you understand this you can easily answer what are the various elements in trans transducer discuss about various elements in transducer that is also important various elements in transducers this is also important discuss the various elements in transducer it is important what are the characteristics of passive and active transducers active sensors and photoelectric transducers coming to this very very important one is strain gauge and lvdt lvdt and strain explain the principle of operation of lvdt and strain gauge that is very important in unit 4 coming to unit 5 measurement of non electrical quantities how measurement of non electrical quantities can be done explain that is unit 4 unit 5 it is totally how non electrical quantities you can take any one example measurement of electromagnetic flow meter my flow is a non electrical quantity that can be used by electromagnetic flow meter you can explain or explain electromagnetic flow meter already the diagram is there if you prepare this one you can answer anyone among this how non electrical quantities can be measured temperature can be measured by using what is thermocouple similarly electromagnetic flow meter these are the important topics you need five unit 5 is important topics measurement of non electrical quantities how it is possible you can take any example and another one is electromagnetic flow meter these are the important topics in unit 5 that is measurement of non electrical quantities